recovery from a game where you're that active? It's good. Yeah, body starts to turn over. Um, yeah, Monday morning was precarious, but feeling feeling good. Yeah. Matthew had mentioned that uh, I referenced like looking, wanting to know what the data was for how much you actually ran in that game because mm -hmm. you were all over the place. Is that something that you can quantify? And uh, how much yardage I had? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I was told how much yardage I had. Uh -huh. It was it was substantial. Um, but yeah, it's I mean it's it's part of what the you know what ended up happening just with the game plan and how things played out. It was just kind of how the game played out. Um, and you know you just we've, I've said it over and over again, you know whatever the job is, just want to be able to go out and execute and handle it. And um, you get in that huddle and get your next next assignment, go out and handle it the next play. So. Um, you know, if that's what it's going to be, that's what it's going to be, and uh, yeah, we just roll with it. What's unique about the way Yarbs gets everybody in the receiver room ready to play? Just think about guys like Tyler, who you know suddenly have to step into a role like he did last Sunday, and other guys in the past. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was, like what it is. I mean, I think just guys just want to play for him. You know, I think he's uh, he's himself. He's honest. He uh, you you know what you're getting with Yarbs. Um, and you know he just cares. I think that ultimately that's what it is. Like he he really, truly cares about your well-being um, beyond football. Um, obviously, he knows that's part of it. But um, I think just because of his um, ability to, you know, to love his guys, I think that's what makes it pretty special. And then obviously there's all the other stuff that comes after that of just being, you know, such a good, you know, technically sound coach. Um, what he's harping guys on and then pushing guys to play the game the right way. It just brings guys along and then you do that for, he's been doing this for a while now and you have a standard in the room and then you're just like, hey, you just call up to the standard every day. Are you, were, you were once uh, the rookie coming in and learning from him formations mm -hmm. day one. He told me the first thing he always teaches. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like for you to watch him get in those details and then mm -hmm. for you to refresh them really every mm -hmm. year but him to get in those details with new players, whether they're a veteran, new mm -hmm. player, or a rookie? Yeah, no, it is. It's it's cool. I mean, he was he was the guy that came and you know put me through a workout when I was going through the draft process as well. So it's like you know I've um, from as early as it could possibly be. You know, I've known Yarbs and uh, his energy, and um, it's cool saying he hasn't he hasn't lost any of it at all. It's the same guy that he was you know eight years ago, and those guys are getting the same guy, the same you know, the same vigor, the same intensity that you know I was getting as a coach you know um, back in my rookie year. Yarbs said that uh, he's been telling everyone. That No, I mean I know he's been saying that. <laughs> uh, you know that that's I, I understand what he's saying. I you know I appreciate that. It's, it's not been my mindset. Um, it's not been about. Is that that's not how my mindset's been. It's just been about you know preparing myself to come out here and do my job. I feel like I didn't do a good enough job of that last year, um, and this year I want to make sure I put myself in position to do it. Any. Yeah, and that's, you know, I've, I've touched on a little bit before, but I think it really goes back to the very beginning. I mean, I was lucky in college. I had mentors ahead of me um, when I got in there. You know, Brandon Kaufman, Greg Hurd, Nick Edwards, Ashton Clark, um, guys that just were the guys in college and took me under their wing. I got to the NFL, and you hear horror stories about how you're treated as a rookie, and it was the complete opposite. I came in, and, you know, Robert Woods and Sammy Watkins and even Tavon Austin. We had guys that just ran cooks the next year that just, like, wanted to pour into me and, you know, teach me and show me how to do things. And I was just so appreciative of my experience as a rookie, as a freshman in college. And when you are at the bottom of the totem pole, how you're treated, I think, you know, goes a long way. And I know the confidence and the growth that I had because of those guys was so important to who I am today. And I would be doing such a great disservice to not, you know, pay that forward. Um, and, you know, care about the guys that are coming in here that are um, having an incredible experience of being able to play in the NFL and being able to have someone that, you know, I've had reps. And if you want to listen to, you know, some of my thoughts on it, then, you know, I'm happy to share them with you. Having been on IR last season the beginning, any advice or Message you passed on to Puka to kind of help him navigate. Oh yeah, no, yeah, and he and he knows. I mean, it's, he unfortunately had to go through it during training camp a little bit here. You know, you just take it a day at a time. You know, I think uh, ultimately the goal is to get back healthy, um, and you know, he needs to come in, come in a day at a time. And I know it's, it's just so hard, and he's hurting because he wants to be out there so bad. You know how much he cares and how much he cares about you know not letting the guys down, and um, you know just reminding him like you know we're here for him, um, and you know we're 
excited to get back a, a healthy, strong Puka when, when the right time. Cooper, you're entering your eighth season in the NFL. What uh, importance and what challenges are there in just uh, recuperating? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I think that's always been the thing. I mean, establishing some kind of like uh, routine, some kind of you know plan for how you go about turning your body over, and um, you know that's been something that's been developed over time. It's funny as Kobe was just talking to me about that out there. Uh, you know, just what is my how do I turn my body over and things like that? And you have to have a plan. Everyone's different. Some guys are in the cold tub, some guys sauna, some guys are body work, you know, stretching, whatever it is. You just kind of find what works for you. I don't know if there's one way, one thing that like works for everyone, but um, find that one thing and uh, just stick to it. A couple more guys. You were put in motion good hit on Sunday. Is that part of the offense that, that you enjoy and what kind of information can you kind of you know, take from that? Yeah, that is, uh, it is a big part of our. You know, obviously it was a big part of the game plan, and um, yeah, I can't tell you all the things, but I do enjoy it. I do enjoy doing the pre snap motion. Um, it does, uh, you know, it does help kind of give you some tips and tells and things like that. Um, but it's 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 fun. It's fun, and then it's exhausting. But <laughs> it's it's more fun than it's exhausting. So, Cooper, you play with tremendous poise and peace. Where does that come from? Uh, I don't know. I think you know. Well, I think having the guys, having the right guys that show me how to prepare. Um, you go about the week and you just do the right things and put yourself in a position to go out there and play. That's all you can do at the end of the day. You know, I, I feel confident when I step on the field that I've done everything I possibly can to prepare myself for this moment. Now I just got to let it go, right? If anything falls short, if I mess up on anything or, you know, play doesn't work out if I want to, I know I've done everything I possibly can to make that work. Sometimes things aren't going to go my way. You know, the guy on the other side of the ball gets – Paid to do his job as well, and uh, you know you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, and I like to think that my preparation puts me in a you know, advantageous spot, but um, allows me just to play free in that in that regard. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.